One dragon flew off, now safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted. Another was about to wake up. The surviving Antam poachers carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Wonderfully done, Tosh. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. So, Rook, Varric's talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. What did you find in the cave? A lot of dragon shit, gold, some fancy trinkets, and this. It almost looks like a rune. Does it do anything? Shit, I hope not. It conveys knowledge. While not as impressive as a magical explosion, it can still change the world. Rook, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. Were you seen by the Antam? You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. I'm what? We expect some dragon trouble, so we need a dragon hunter. You'll feel right at home. Hooray. Our contact here said you'd agreed to join us. Didn't Shathan... I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. Nope. Whoops. Well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tash. You're welcome back whenever. Rook. Pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. Do you not wish to stop these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. Hassam Finek. Rook, you will keep her safe. She strong-armed you onto the team just like that, huh? Looks like. Anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. Hey. It is. Sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. Glad to hear it. The Antom hate magic. They always talk about how much better Kunari are than everyone else. Now they worship elven gods for power? Hypocrites. But it explains why they pushed so hard into Ravain. With this, Demetta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. They want a war? We'll damn well give them one. You need an army to fight a war, though. They've got two. 
The Venatori and Antom wasted no time allying themselves with the gods. Power at any cost. So how do we fight back then? We don't have an army, but we do have allies. Like the Veil Jumpers. After Demeter's crossing, it's personal for them. The Shadow Dragons? Particularly after we helped save their city. A debt the Viper will repay soon. Also, Lady Morrigan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Could she have found some trace of the gods? Probably. Morrigan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosburg wetlands. Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the Blight there. I bet it involves the gods. Any details on the Blight in the wetlands? Antoine said he didn't write it down. Why not? Either he didn't trust someone else wouldn't read the note, or he didn't want us to panic. The First Warden didn't seem impressed the last time we met. <laughs> I heard he told you to piss up a rope. Will he be in the wetlands? I don't keep track, but he can't stop you from asking a few questions, if we're fast enough. Gilanine has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking blight than wardens. Morrigan and those wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods, or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. In their power and wrath, at least. Lucanus, you're back. I am. Good to have you back. This is Professor Emmerich Volkarin, our Fade expert, and Tosh, our dragon hunter. They joined while you were away. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. So, a dragon hunter. Treviso could have used you. What's happening there? Hmm. It's just... People blame you for what happened to Treviso, Rook. But they did not have to make that choice, knowing what the gods are capable of. There was no right call. Still, it changes things. How could it not? But you're back with us. Yes, here to stay. Given how things have gone, I wouldn't blame you for staying away. So, thanks. We can't do this without you. After what they did to Treviso, I want these gods to fall. I don't see anyone else with a better chance than you. My blade's yours. Until the end. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morrigan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town called Lavendel. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. If I don't make the tough decisions, no one else will. So I live with the consequences. And you don't blame anyone else for them. That's why I recruited you. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morrigan to attend. And dealing with whatever the Wardens found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. Good work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it.
How's it going? Treviso's not ready to deal with the Blight. I know we had to make a choice when there weren't any good ones. Still can't imagine what Lucanus is going through. Look at all those green leaves. You've really brought this place to life. Amazing what a little weeding and water can do. They're growing so fast, too. Even the ones I haven't tended. Maybe they just needed someone to... remind them? Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. If you know your enemy, their weak spots, maybe you live another day. Or you could just bring along a really big sword. Only if you know what to do with it. You hit a rageling in the flank, you'll just send him into a frenzy. And these will help? Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Who are you doing it for? Balmor, that imbecile in Tebinter, lecturing on things he doesn't know about. And Ludric, over in Ravain, thinks taking a rock wraith down with a lucky shot makes him a champion. What do you care? Jealous? Of course not. I just think the experts should have some actual expertise. Tosh could learn a thing or two. Ooh, ouch. I get it. She knows dragons. But what about fighting a Sylvan? Or a Dartmonger? Don't tell me I'm using the wrong blade. I like a hunt with some challenge to it. What's your quarry? I'm thinking... A Grey Warden. Maybe an Elf. Maybe both. I can't decide. That too much to handle? It's best if you keep them guessing. Well, you'll need special bait to lure that sword out. Doesn't just fall for anything. Noted. So, where's the gloom howler in all this? Can't carve it till I know what it is. You want a piece of the howler, boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a herlock? Well, you're still alive. I got my ass handed to me. Broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. Then I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. Makes sense. He'll learn to fight by fighting. I don't know another way. Out there in the world, you sink or swim. Can a half lion, half eagle swim? Don't know. Asan? Which off was that? Search me. Both halves share the same stomach. <laughs> right. 
I'll see you around. The view here. I could sit with it for hours. It's dramatic, I'll give it that. Rook, welcome to the Hosberg Wetlands. I'd say make yourself comfortable. Hmm. This place is... Foreboding? Yes. Well, foreboding is normal here. But it's worse than usual. The Blight's always a problem in the Anderfels. It's not strange to find a corrupted patch of forest or swamp. What is strange 
is the sudden surge of blight through the Hosberg wetlands. Much like the village you found, the blight here struck too quickly, and in strange forms. It's choked the whole area, and the local village, Lavendel, was caught in it. But they're survivors. We can be grateful for that. It only gets worse from here. We've got the same feeling. As far as we can tell, the gods you're chasing weren't here directly. If the Blight's really changed, then the changes are widespread. As for how much... I... I can almost sense something in there. Another sound under the Blight's usual song. Stories say Warden sense Blight. I never thought it was literal. It happens when you join the Order. But that's more than I should say. When we met, you tried to block the sound out. Now you hear too much. If it helps, that's what we're here for. Become a Warden, hear the Blight. And people think Watcher initiations are scary. Do you work with spirit? That's not so bad. Demons, though. I, I don't like demons. Uh, things can get restless in the necropolis. Anyway, what's the plan? We heard rumors of the Surge here and volunteered to investigate. The First Warden expects a report. Soon. If we want proof the Blight's changed, then this place is where to find it. But the way the Blight left the village, we've had our hands full just keeping it back and helping the sick. You need more to study. Yes. The odd growths the Blight has formed, like boils, they surround Lavendel. I need more samples. So you two study the Blight? Formally? No. Well, maybe. It depends on your definition. We travel a lot, and tend to get sidetracked by weird problems. Who knew I'd roam so far for Morlaix? If we want to help, we need to learn what we're dealing with. Leave it to me. You can't just handle Blight. I'll give you something to contain it. And watch for Darkspawn. I'll try not to die. We'd prefer you didn't. So be careful. Let's find those boil samples. Looks like there's caves on the far side of the village. We can start there. You've been to the farmlands? There's a femme. They spoke at the... If... No. Lavendel village. Whatever happened here looks like Demeter's crossing. It's still standing. And I'll fight to keep it that way. Are you here to help Lavendel? I'm Bastion. There's more out there than Blight. You must be careful. Of what? I heard something from up at Gaspin Manor while I was escaping. The place has been abandoned for years. They say the Lord had some cursed treasure. One day he just disappeared. The treasure's up there somewhere. It should have been destroyed. I wouldn't be surprised if damage from the Blight stirred something up. Nor would I. Whether a curse or some other magical disturbance, it bears investigation. Are you alright?
There. That's our blight boil. Got a sample. I'm guessing they'll need more than one. Knowing how Antoine experiments. Yes. Got the sample. Not the cleanest of endeavors, but we're making fine progress. at the Necropolis, Emmerich? Or is that a job for skeleton butlers? I was an apprentice once. How about now? Well, I... <clears throat> am perfectly capable of scrubbing a pot. That's good. You're on cleanup tonight. Light. Imagine the entire world remade like these infested wetlands. I've never seen a surge like this.
Beat the odds. Trouble ahead. It's a fight then! Gavron, I found feathers clogging my alembic this morning. You have a feather pillow in your room? Mine's just straw. Don't deflect. You know it was a sign. He's unruly. Messy. He's still just a kid. One who'll grow into an unruly, messy adult. How much damage might a full-grown griffin cause? That's the idea. A darkspawn killer. I'm not raising a butler to serve me tea, Emmerich. No, you'll need considerably more nurturing. Uh, take it to them! Ready! <laughs> 
Another champion. Excellent. Every one of these gets us a little further. Necropolis spirit. Last one. I lashed my common rage. We fought a petty hanks and burned the heart and burned the soul. Whatever you are, give me my freedom if you can. That's it. The necropolis door to the demon, the real demon these all came from, should be open. We know where to go to end it.
usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep. For gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. So why do the Lords of Fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies? Hmm. Uh -huh. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. But you deal with a lot of nasty traps during those treasure hunts. Yep. What's the most complicated one you've dealt with? Old Elven Armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably? I don't read Elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. Well, that sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh. Puzzles. See, I like some puzzles, but not when they're just thrown in. Right? I ran into one while traveling with Varric. It was one of those who sits in which seat things. Ugh. Where the guy with an axe has to sit to the left of the guy who likes brandy? Oh, exactly. Who cares that much about seating arrangements? Why is that controlling the lock on an ancient treasure chest? It's Vashadon. Just pick a chair. Feel free to use the ancient elven artifacts for weight training, but nothing leaves with you, okay? Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. I mean... aren't you, though? Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. The Lords send that stuff back to the Kunari in Parvalin. They pay the Lords a finder's fee. Interesting. The Lords do all this out of the goodness of their hearts? We do get paid. Name another job where you get danger pay for killing giant spiders. Right. For gold and glory. The Lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. Her only skill she had was Kunari history. The Lords gave her work. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us. But that was before the Antam invaded Ravain. Hmm. And now, Ravain sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravain's official navy. But we're also helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. Get some rest. We'll be in the thick of it soon enough. Okay. I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along. If you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. Alright. Just let me know when.
in between the facing gods. Can't do this without a wisp. Know literally everyone? I don't know literally everyone. Almost. Every time we meet someone, you already know them. Morgan, the crows, the wardens, and the chantry lady with the big hat. Not to mention the dreadwolf himself. <laughs> oh, is that everyone? You didn't even list ten people. <laughs> it feels like a lot of people. Well, it's all as you left it. Close enough. I think the caretaker's been tidying up. Rook, now's not the best time to chat. Let's talk later. Later then. It looks like our boy Asan is feeling his oats, or whatever griffins feel. He's getting the hang of it, when he listens. He seems to be able to handle himself so far. You got lucky the Gloom Howler didn't tear you to pieces, boy. You wait for my command, we attack together, then we can kill stuff like that. Well, at least he's learning. The instincts kick in. Griffins see dark spawn, and it's a fight to the death, like wolves hunting deer. Just need to corral it. You'd never know it to look at him. Seems friendly enough. As long as he likes you. So what I'm hearing, Asan, is gingerbread truffles for life? Every muscle in him, every talon, every feather, honed into a killing machine. Hassan's ancestors took on archdemons. Like his name says, he's an arrow. Half lion, half eagle, with the instincts of both, griffins will always be hunters. Just like his daddy, Davrin. 
<laughs> I suppose we are our nature. Not sure about that? Most of my life I've hunted the darker things in the world. But caring for a griffin? What do I know about that? Yet here I am. That's not so bad, is it? Not the path I expected. Makes me wonder about Hassan, his brothers and sisters, still young, pure. You're worried? I'm responsible for the future of every griffin alive. I want it to be a good one. These animals live to fight, but I wonder if there's another path for them. It's still early. Hassan's just a kid. Let him test the waters, see what shakes loose. You mean like a parent? Yeah. Parents. A scary word. I'm supposed to be his bodyguard. What do you think you've been doing this whole time? Trying to ignore it. If I get myself killed by a herlock, that's on me. If it's Hassan, I just don't want to mess it up. I think that's where trust comes in. That Turlum idea you keep talking about? Trust Asan to find his way. Don't force things. He's headstrong. <laughs> Good thing you are too. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat. Good taste. Hey, you heard of the Hall of Valor? It's a fighting arena with the Lords. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. The view of the Fade here is marvelous. I can't believe this room wasn't taken. <laughs> <laughs> 